everyone, I'm Holly from Baby Gizmo and today we're taking a look at the GB Cubit Stroller. This is a great travel stroller that weighs only 14 pounds. It is budget friendly and it has a phenomenal compact hold. So let's take a look. So let's start with the seat. The seat has a weight capacity of up to 50 pounds. It is 13 inches wide with a 17 inch seat back and a measurement from the back of the seat to the top of the canopy up here of 25 inches. There is an adjustable five point padded harness it has a very easy to do buckle, so easy in fact that your toddlers will be able to escape this because it's just pushing that one silver button. Now there's no adjustable calf or leg rest, but there is a foot rest right here where they will set their legs. Now this accommodates newborn all the way up to 50 pounds like I said, and the only way you can use it with a newborn is with the included infant car seat adapters for the GB Asana infant car seat. If you were to use the, you put the child right in the seat, you wait till they're about six months old because it does not have a flat recline. Now, all you have to do to recline the seat, there is a strap system here, it's one-handed. You push this little button and you pull the seat back. That is as far back as the seat goes. It's not a really deep recline, but it's enough to have your child take a nap. Plus, when you put it up like this, it's one of those infinite reclines, so it can kind of go up as it goes. There's a little snap here to keep it in place. Um, in the upright position. That is as upright as the seat gets. I know that a lot of people care about that. Um, not completely 90 degrees, but pretty upright. It also has a cup holder right over here. I love that on a travel stroller that it has this cup holder. It doesn't fall off very easily, but you can take it off. One thing I do want to mention that is when the seat is reclined, this is one solid piece of fabric that is attached. If you have a taller child, they're not going to be able to pop their head out the back of the seat because it is closed. I would love to see them add a mesh window here for the next version. Um, but just so you know, super tall child, probably going to hit their head against this canopy. But by the time they're four, they're probably not going to be riding it any longer. I do want to show you what a child near the weight capacity looks like in the seat. Now, he is five. He doesn't ride in a stroller anymore. But just for size-wise, he is 45 pounds. He has a weight capacity of 50. He does fit in the seat. Um, his head does hit the back of this fabric though, so he wouldn't have been in the seat long. But I just want to show you, in case you have a large, tall three-year-old that maybe is 45 pounds, this is what a child looks like in the seat near the weight capacity. So let's go down to the basket and the wheels. Now here in the basket is the travel bag that I can't wait to show you how it fits into that, but we'll get to that in a minute. But it does have a very large basket for such a lightweight stroller. Normally with like, the umbrella strollers, you have this teeny tiny basket. This one is easy to access from the front, easy to access from the back. You're going to get a diaper bag in there or some baby essentials. So I do like the basket. Again, lightweight strollers usually don't have a big basket, so this is pretty good. Now, the wheels, they roll, it rolls on five and a half inch hard rubber wheels. These front ones are 360 degree swivel wheels for really good maneuverability. And then you can lock them straight individually with this little gray button. And that's going to allow you to take it on a little bit of mommy terrain, the grass, the playground mulch, and the gravel. So it's going to keep it from getting caught up in every bump. Now in the back here, again, these are also five and a half inch wheels. They have um, parking brakes individually on each wheel. You're just going to step down on them each, and that's going to lock the stroller into place. So let's talk about this canopy. This is a decent sized canopy for a lightweight stroller. I keep saying for a lightweight stroller because when you're talking about a full size stroller, they do have a lot more bells and whistles. But when you want a compact, lightweight travel stroller, sometimes some of the features suffer, but not in this one. So you do have this large canopy. There is no peekaboo window in this one though, just so you know. There's a snap right here, and that is in case you just don't need that much Sun protection, you can snap it back, it just kind of makes it a clean line just in case you don't want that much, but it is a three panel canopy. Now the handlebar, the handlebar is not adjustable, but it is tall at the measurement of 41 inches from ground to where I place my hands. It is a foam covered handlebar with a plastic piece in the center. This is how you're gonna fold it right here. So it has really good maneuverability. Um, with, like I said, even if you have a 50 pound child in the seat, you're gonna use two hands, of course, because every stroller you're gonna use two hands with a big child like that. But with a small baby aboard, you are gonna be able to maneuver it one handed. So let's show you how it folds, because this is the best part. Now here is the travel bag. It even has a shoulder strap right here, and it has pockets on the outside. So all you have to do, this is so easy, you can do it with one hand while you're carrying your baby if you need to. There is a place where you set your thumb, and you're gonna slide it over with your thumb, squeeze, 
and it folds down that easy. And look at this little square package, really, really small. Now it does have a manual lock. I would have loved to see them add an uh, automatic lock, but it's all right, it's not too hard to do. But look at how compact this little package is. This is gonna be perfect for traveling. You could even put this in the overhead bin on an airplane. Um, just bring your bag, put it up there, and you won't have to even gate check it. I love that. Only 14 pounds, very lightweight. Like I said, look at how small this is. It's such a cute travel stroller. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the bag. This is the bag right here. It closes with Velcro. I'm just gonna put it in there. I take the, the cap holder off just so that it doesn't get in the way or arm that I put it right there in the basket. You just cover it with the bag. Make sure it's up. And then you just go ahead and you seal it with the Velcro. It has carry handles right here like this if you wanted to carry it, or you could sling it over your shoulder with the shoulder strap. Like I said, huge pocket on the outside so you just have blankets or whatever you want. Really, really great travel stroller. Now when you get to your destination and you want to set it up really easily, you can do this with one hand as well. All you have to do is undo your manual lock, grab the handlebar, and stand up. And there you go, it all locks into place. It's a really sturdy stroller. Now, like I said, it does turn into a travel system. It comes with the car seat adapters for the GB Asana infant car seat. That's the only one it works with, but it does come with the adapters, which I love. And I like the fact that such a lightweight stroller can accommodate an infant car seat, and that's because of the stability of the stroller. Now, I go ahead and I take the bag, I just fold it up, and I put it in the basket um, when I'm not using it. Now, I told you at the beginning that it is a budget-friendly stroller. This stroller retails for only $179, which is a deal for a travel stroller this compact and this lightweight. I like the fact that they gave us a large canopy. The high weight capacity is a great touch. The tall handlebar. The basket, that's a really good basket for a travel stroller. Love the cup holder, and I absolutely adore the fold. So that's it. That's just kind of our look at the GB Cubit travel stroller. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you'd like to see more Baby Gizmo videos, and I will talk to you later. Bye!